Am I the asshole for asking my parents what they have done for me and not for my brother? I, 17 male, have a younger brother, 15 male, who has a number of serious disabilities from birth. He suffered brain damage at birth, has a missing kidney, has digestive issues that means he eats through a feeding tube, he cannot walk and can only make sounds instead of talking. My parents' time and attention has to be focused on him more than on me. For the first few years after he was born I spent a lot of time with my grandpa who raised me from the age of 2 until I was about 7 and then I was seen as old enough to be at home after school and could make my own food and clean up after myself and not need supervision mostly. Grandpa was willing and had offered to keep taking me after school but my parents said he didn't need to do it and he deserved to live his life. I never get one-to-one -one time with my parents. They couldn't afford field trips and never took the time to apply for the school field trip fund so grandpa picked up the slack there. He paid into my school lunch account so I didn't have to make my own lunch. Grandpa was the person who'd pick me up from school if I was sick. He'd stay and take care of me at home since whichever parent would be home would really just say to go to bed or lay on the couch and relax and there was no caring for me or taking care of sick little me. When I was 11 I got picked for this junior programmers contest through our school district but my parents said they couldn't take the time for it so they refused to sign off and since grandpa couldn't, even though he offered to take me, I missed out on that. When my laptop broke in October 2020 it was grandpa who replaced it for me so I could, you know, school when school wasn't in person. When I got older I was asked to do more like cook for everyone, pick up meds or get the special bath ready for my brother. A few times my mom or dad even reprimanded me for not doing off my own initiative. My parents have nothing set aside for me to go to college. They have never considered colleges. And last year I had my guidance counselor on my ass wanting me to go to college and wanting us to attend some college talk and my parents wouldn't go. I told her I didn't have money for college and she said she would reach out to my parents about forms. They never got back to her. She called, emailed, reached out repeatedly. Nothing. Then I told her I had decided to skip college and she was like no, no. You need to go and she tried reaching out to them again to talk about it but they didn't answer, respond. My parents wanted to get a night off and catch up with some friends in town and they asked me to babysit. I said no. My parents told me I should help my family and considering all they do for me. So I asked them, what have they ever done for me? I told them it had to be for me, not for my brother. I asked them to name one thing and I pointed out all the stuff they don't, didn't do. They called me spiteful and told me to stop looking at it through the lens of a kid. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Having a kid with so many special needs is hard, I get it. But they have two kids and they've neglected you for most of your life it seems. I don't get why they wouldn't let you still stay with your grandpa after you turn 7, as if being 7 makes you an adult. I'm sorry you missed out on so much as a kid. Maybe going off to college would be a nice fresh start for you and help set you up for a nice future. But also be ready for the conversation someday of how taking care of your brother will be your responsibility when your parents are gone. Set those boundaries now, then they won't be shocked. Not the asshole. You're a glass child. Can you live with your grandpa? Big not the asshole. They didn't only ruin your childhood but are actively ruining your future. Okay, so the babysitting thing is likely a trial run to see if you can be the caretaker for your brother. I worked as a para in schools with severe kids like this and the wait list for a home to care for them, government run and paid for, is 15 years where I am. And that is if you sign up at birth. If you have never babysat him before. This so mom and dad's first trial run of, can we leave this kid with op forever? And you don't want that. Move back in with grandpa as soon as able and go to college. Not the asshole. Sounds like a rough situation my guy. They're trying to parentify you. It sucks for them your brother has these needs, and sucks for him too, but you shouldn't have to suffer as a result. They have blinkers on and reacting to the situation in front of them, not seeing damage it is doing to you. Be careful because in a few years, they are probably going to hand your brother over as your responsibility as they are getting old and will expect you to look after him forever more. Clearly, they should be looking at this through the lens of a child. They robbed you an entire childhood. They refuse to accept it because I want to guilty into helping them with him. Am I the asshole for not allowing my son to be punished after he refused to do his school presentation? My son, George, just turned 13 this month. George is very bright projected to get 8s or 9s in his GCSEs, and regularly achieves these grades in his mock exams and assessments. But he struggles socially and has been bullied badly in the past. Things are better now, but he isn't popular. As part of his PD class, he had to create a children's toy and give a sales pitch to the class. Last Friday was the presentation day, and George was really excited. He put a lot of effort into his toy in the presentation. But I got a notification saying George had been given a C3, after school detention, something he's never received before. 
as he'd refused to participate in class and didn't do his presentation. When I picked him up, I could tell immediately that he was upset. I asked him what happened and why he didn't do the presentation. He said he didn't refuse the presentation, when it was his turn, he asked to go later. His teacher said no, and that he had to do it then or get a C3. George said he couldn't do it now, but didn't explain further when asked, so he was given the C3. I kept pressing him, worried that maybe he was being bullied again. Eventually, he told me the real reason. He had a random erection just before his turn and, no matter what, it, wouldn't go down. With that info, I think George's request was perfectly reasonable. He didn't refuse to do the presentation, he simply asked to do it a little later. Obviously, he didn't want to explain the reason in front of the whole class when the teacher asked him. His mom was really angry with him for getting the C3. I explained what happened and said I didn't think George was wrong. I said I'm not supporting the detention and would pick him up at the normal time. When I told his mom what happened, she looked disgusted and said something like, why did he even have one in class to begin with? I explained that random erections happen, especially in early puberty, and they don't always relate to sexual thoughts, which is what she was assuming. She replied, well, I'm not sure that's true, dismissing what I said. So I told her, you might not be sure, but I am. She insisted we needed to present a united front, along with the school, and that by going against her, I was sending George the wrong message. I asked why her way of handling it was automatically right and why I should be the one to concede. It escalated into a big argument, which we haven't had in years. She's saying she is going to punish him for refusing when it's her week with him next week and that I am being an asshole for going against her. Her mother texted me saying I was setting a bad example for George by letting him get away with being disrespectful to his teacher. Which he wasn't even, just asked to do his presentation later. I respectfully told her she should mind her own business, and that George was my son. But now I'm worrying whether I've done the right thing, and I need some outside perspectives. Not the asshole. Your son's request was completely rational as he didn't refuse to present altogether but simply needed some time. There was absolutely no reason for his teacher to give him that grade for making a simple request. The teacher is being unreasonable as your son was still going to present either way. I believe it was unfair grading on the teacher's end. Not the asshole I feel like I don't know why you haven't spoken to the school and simply cleared this up. It's quite embarrassing in the moment and he definitely would be teased for it. I don't blame him for wanting to go later. The teacher should have just spoken to him in private or something to see what was going on instead of making a show and disciplining him. Your wife is wrong and should learn to listen more. So, if your daughter just got her first period and didn't want to stand in front of the class because of it, your wife would want to punish her, too? She is being irrational, idiotic and inconsiderate. The three, eyes, slightly smiling face, not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm worried about the mother, not believing, that erections can just happen. Reminds me of the father who was furious that his daughter used tampons because he didn't know how bodies work. George had a good reason to want to go later, but it is my experience that no one ever wants to go earlier and many want to wait until last, which is why the teacher expected him to give it where he was supposed to in the lineup. Teacher couldn't know he had an erection, and if there is a problem for a student, then giving the teacher a note, providing it is a good, discreet teacher, could have let the teacher know there was a problem. I don't think George should be punished. He already got the low grade. That's enough of a punishment. I don't know why they also added on detention, but wife also wanting to add on to that is kind of overkill, I think. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I love how she hand waves that away because she was never a young teen boy going through puberty. The feelings of dread were a real thing when you had to go up in front of the class. It could have been perceived as more disrespectful for him to go up there in that state than it was to politely ask if he could go later, and if he elaborates as to the why of it I doubt that would have been well received either. Good on you for advocating for your son. Am I the asshole for telling my brother he betrayed mom so why would he get half of everything? My mom died a few months ago and she left my brother, 40s, some money but I, 40sf, got most of what she owned. Some background to explain why mom did this and why my brother is angry. My mom was an only child for 16 years and she always wanted to get involved in her dad's business. But he didn't want a girl, woman taking over the family business. He was determined to have a son one way or another and even though mom was prepared to leave school and work for him, by the time her brother came along he made it very clear that even if there was no son he would never let her work for him and take over one day. He would rather see the business close. This destroyed my mom. She loved her parents and felt so rejected. Mom's dad didn't get his way, however, because her brother wanted nothing to do with the business and refused to even work for him let alone take over. My mom was estranged from her dad for many years because her dad made it painfully clear to her that he didn't value a daughter and never would so mom stepped back. 
but when he heard mom had a son he reached out and when that didn't work he waited until my brother was 18 and he offered him a job and the chance to run the family business. My mom was shocked and my brother told her she better not tell him not to accept because he didn't like the fact she kept us from our grandfather and prevented him running the business with the estrangement. Mom and him had a talk, she said she did not want him to grow up with the same disregard for women as her dad. He basically told her to go and fuck herself and he went to work for her dad. Years passed and he regretted the strain between him and mom and dad was disgusted with him too. He reached out after dad died and apologized and told mom he loved her. But things were never the same and he talked about her dad like he was some amazing hero of a guy. Which was so difficult for my mom. So apparently when mom had her will made, she decided that I should get the most and my brother should get something but not an equal share given he had the business and seemed perfectly okay with her being shut out of it for being born the wrong sex. My brother is hurt and angry about this now that she's gone. He asked me how she could have done this and why I'm not angry. I told him he betrayed mom so why would he get half. He tried to say he didn't but I told him he went to work for her dad anyway and then basically told her to go fuck herself and even when they reconciled he acted like the father who treated her like shit was some amazing person who needed his praises saying all the time. He said I was shitting on him for no real reason. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. He's not entitled to more than your mom decided to leave him. And considering the state of the relationship and how he insisted on praising a man who mistreated her, it's pure generosity on her part that she left him anything. Or maybe because certain areas have laws that you can't sue for more of the estate if you were left a certain portion. Rip to your mom, I hope your brother can one day realize how much his actions hurt her. Not the asshole. Ask him where your half of the so-called family business is. All feelings and emotional considerations aside, it's arguably fair and logical for your mother to be more generous toward you in the inheritance from her to make up for the lack of fairness and inequity in bro getting the family business and you getting nothing. Not the asshole. You told him the truth. He didn't like the truth. Doesn't make it any less the truth. Is he planning on giving you half the business your grandfather gave him? Doubtful. That's why she left it to you. Because she got nothing from your grandfather and your brother got everything. I'd also point out to him that your grandfather also left you. Nothing. Does he have children? Hope he doesn't have daughters. Can only imagine how he treats them as well as his wife. Not the asshole. He got what she should have gotten the business he seems greedy and clueless. In ta. Sounds like you are just providing your brother a perspective he doesn't want to acknowledge. I presume you didn't inherit anything from your grandfather. Funny how he didn't care then. Am I the asshole for refusing to lie to my kids for my ex? My ex, 31 female and I, 30 male, have two kids together, 10 and 9. Our marriage ended when I learned she was cheating on me. The guy she was cheating with is now her husband. They had been, together, since before our first child was even conceived and when I learned this I paid for a DNA test to make sure our children were mine. They're mine biologically. That was confirmed. And once that was confirmed and we had attended three co-parenting classes we were shared physical and legal custody. This means the children spend 50% of the time at both mine and my ex's house. In June of this year my kids told me that their grandmother, ex's mom, had told them that their mom and her husband are cheaters and broke up our family and that's why they, their mom and her husband, hate me. I didn't lie to the kids and say it wasn't true. But I did talk to them and assured them they didn't need to hate anyone on my behalf and I told them it didn't have to change things. But it has. The kids have brought it up to my ex repeatedly since they learned this and they call my ex's husband mean now. The kids didn't have the greatest relationship with him before this but now they don't want to spend time with him and they say he's really mean. My ex was furious with her mom when she realized what her mom had done. She had blamed me for telling them beforehand, though not to my face. Now that she knows what happened she has been telling me to lie and say they never cheated and they met after we broke up. I refused and she said I'm a failure as a parent, I'm hurting our kids, ruining their family and that I should love our kids more than I hate her and make sure they can love and respect her again. I said I won't lie and that I have already talked to our kids and I refuse to cover for her. She has fired more and more accusations of me mistreating our kids. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You didn't tell the kids yourself, and you did make it clear that you don't want them to hate your ex and his husband because of it. But kids aren't dumb just because they're young. They can form their own opinions and determine what's right or what's wrong for themselves. Your ex just has to accept that her actions have consequences and that you won't be doing her any favors by covering up something she did which was her betraying you and ruining your marriage, by the way. Not the asshole. Let's face it, the kids are 10 and 9, not 3 and 4. I'm pretty sure at this point, they would be old enough to realize, dad's lying to us at this point. Your ex's mother let the cat out of the bag. You only confirmed to the truth to your children. You are 100% not an asshole, and your ex is an asshole for thinking you can undo it.
not the asshole. Dot she said I'm a failure as a parent, I'm hurting our kids, ruining their family. She needs to look in the mirror. You didn't cheat, you didn't ruin the family, you didn't fail as a parent, you aren't the one hurting your kids. She did, and she needs to own up to it. Not the asshole, never lie to your kids for anyone. Keep some threats from them for which they are too young but never ever lie. It is a bond of trust for life or mistrust for life. Your ex-wife sure is projecting. She's guilty of everything she accused you of. Frankly her problem should be with her mother. You did the right thing by not dragging your kids into her mess and assuring them they don't need to hate anyone on your behalf. The cat is out of the bag, and you attempting to lie to them now is only going to make them distrust you too. Not the asshole. In Ta here is the thing about secrets they always come out. Your kids respect and trust you enough to not lie to them. If you do your ex's bidding and lie the kids will realize they can't trust either parent. Your kids need therapy, not to make them reconcile with mom but to let them talk through their feelings. In a short amount of time they lost the family they had, had a new person become part of their life, and now found out their mom is the reason their world got turned upside down. Tell your ex instead of doubling down on the lie, which won't work, try putting in the effort and time to rebuild trust with her children.